Hello everybody. Howdy. So today we are going to be installing our brand new Battleborn lithium batteries into the Patriot Camper. Pretty excited about this, uh, something we wanted to do several weeks ago, but we both got COVID. So we're all good now, ready to do the install. Um, this will be a nice upgrade from the regular gel batteries that are in there now to 100 amp lithiums. Um, we are, these are from Battleborn batteries here in the USA. Um, very excited to be partnered with them. Full disclosure, we are partnered with them. Um, we did get these batteries um, to put in for free. Uh, just wanted to get that out of the way right away. Um, we're going to take you through um, the unboxing and the uh, install process. So stay tuned. All right. So here we go. Two batteries. All right. So um, when you get your batteries, they're going to come in these cardboard boxes. The batteries that we got were the BB112 uh, internally uh, heated batteries. Um, they, when you get them, they come very well packaged. These fully molded um, styrofoam squares, top and bottom. There, so there's no movement inside this box during uh, uh, transportation to your residence. You get all the uh, hardware you need. These are your battery terminal uh, lugs. On and off switch for your uh, heated heating elements. And pull it out. And your Battleborn BB112H, which stands for heated. These batteries are designed to, um, the heating element inside is designed to turn on at 35 degrees or below 35 degrees to allow you to be able to discharge as well as charge your battery in colder conditions, which normally you can't do with uh, a lithium battery. So... Those, these are what are going to be replacing our 150 amp hour gel batteries in, in our trailer, in our Patriot camper. And uh, we are absolutely um, ecstatic to be part of the Battleborn family. Super cool family. We were able to go up and uh, tour their factory. They build these batteries in-house in the USA. And it was it was really cool to meet the team. Mm -hmm. Out with the old, in with the new. Taking our gel way. batteries out of our uh, Patriot camper. Not uh, the easiest proposition in the world, but got to go in. And here's our old gel batteries. We'll be pulling them out and put it in our new uh, battle barns. So here's where they will be going in our trailer. Patriot Camper, um, everything has its place. Everything is shoehorned in. And in order to get to where the battery compartment is, you have to take everything out of the rear storage compartment and crawl back here. take the little hatch covers off and here's where everything is water pump the gel batteries that's where they live and we will be disconnecting those and replacing them with the brand new Battleborn lithiums and it's really fun to squish your little body back here alrighty got both grounds off of there and have that taped up there was one main ground and then a little jumper to the other battery so that's all taped up and out of the way so it won't come back down and touch anything and now we'll take off the hooks all right the batteries are out it's a good thing we didn't film that part because there may have been some colorful adjectives uttered 
those suckers are heavy and you're in this tiny little itty bitty cave and you have no leverage so we finally used a four by four and a big old hunking cat's claw and mike pulled down and i pulled up and we finally got them all the way out not not without not without injury however my pants and my skin is a little bit worse for the wear but that's okay they're out so now we put the much lighter lithium batteries in. all right so mike's uh getting ready to hand me the oh so much lighter lithium battery yeah as opposed to uh so much lighter <laughs> yeah all right babe bring it on in all right we will be uh putting those in more video to follow all right everybody here we go that is the install of the new batteries fairly straightforward install good directions um only thing that made it difficult was the fact that you're wedged in the tiny uh, actually a quite nice storage area of the patriot camper but when you're trying to work on stuff and you're on your belly and in a, a little cave it makes everything a little difficult so that was the only difficult part was just working in super cramped quarters everything else again great directions pretty straightforward install and just get everything nice and tight and you're good to go but uh looking good i can't wait to test these suckers out